Good morning, everybody. Welcome to a new day. We are going to continue on with my sourdough tutorial. So we're gonna bake it. This is the easiest part. It does not require very many steps or very much time. Um, so I did that dough making on Friday and now we're gonna bake it on Sunday morning. So again, made the dough Friday, skipped Saturday, baking it Sunday morning. I wouldn't let it go any further than that. Just a word to the wise. So this method of sourdough we are using a Dutch oven and it's super super simple um, Dutch ovens make really really wonderful sourdough bread because they trap in the moisture and so the dough is able to rise without getting too crispy too fast it just makes this beautiful sourdough so I highly suggest investing in a Dutch oven some of them can be really expensive some of them are not that expensive my favorite is the Pioneer Woman <laughs> so I've got a Pioneer Woman Dutch oven and we're gonna bake bread in that today so you take the dough ball out of the fridge and this is what it looks like now that we're ready to bake with it what you're going to do is you're going to put your empty dutch oven into the oven and preheat it to 450 degrees with the dutch oven in there you want to preheat the dutch oven as well you want to let your dough come out of the fridge and rest for about an hour so I'll pull it out right before I'm getting ready to make it and leave it out while the oven is preheating. It just works perfectly. Um, it's probably a little under an hour for me, but that's fine. So what you wanna do is grab some parchment paper and this is what you're gonna bake it in. Super important, you don't want your bread sticking. So I just lay my parchment paper out on the counter and then you're gonna take your bread in your cloth and you're gonna flip it over onto the parchment paper because remember we had flipped it and we put it good side down into our toweled bowl. So now we want the good side to be up. And just gently pull it from the bowl. And plop it down and gently just pull the cloth off. If you've done a good job flouring the towel, then you won't have anything sticking and you have this lovely little dough ball. Can you see it? Let me check. There we go. There's our nice little dough ball. Okay, so this is the part that intimidates a lot of people, but I swear it's so easy. You're just gonna etch some cuts, some lines into your bread ball before it's baked here. Um, and that's going to allow it to rise more. It's going to release steam. It's gonna look cute. It's gonna make the crust form nicely. So you just use a razor. Um, now you can use this in a handle there's a lot of you can get specific bread razors i literally just use a little razor blade and that works you can look online and there's a lot of different patterns you can do really you just want to make sure you have a couple of larger slits you can go crazy and make awesome designs if you're really creative um, it just depends for me what i'm in the mood for a lot of the times i'm just freestyling so <laughs> I'll let you watch me carve up my bread and you guys can do whatever you want. Again, Pinterest is a really great resource for looking for bread designs as well. You, just, you don't want to do it too hard because just a light slice will start to open up the bread how you would like it to open. So don't worry too much about going too rough or forcing it open with your razor. It'll do its own thing. mention that when you want to consume the bread what time of day you want to eat it is really gonna depend on your own family and when you will take your bread out to bake it um, my family in particular really likes to have bread and butter and jam for breakfast so that's usually what we use it we use like half for breakfast and then maybe we'll have soup for lunch or a stew and we'll use the rest for dinner and that's how we use up our bread All right, so I've chopped up my bread and I'm going to show you an overhead view of what that looks like. This is the design I just freehanded into it. We'll see what it looks like. And I do tend to do larger slices on opposite sides of the bread just to really let that split when it bakes and release the steam and create a lovely crust. And now we're just gonna let it rest while our oven finishes preheating. You can see behind me that we have our preheated, very hot Dutch oven 
please don't touch it with your fingers. <laughs> Make sure that you remember it's hot and have your oven mitts handy. So you've got your parchment paper in your like warm room temperature ball now. And you're just gonna lift it from the corners and you're gonna plop it right inside your Dutch oven, okay? Now, here's where I do things slightly differently. I'm going to add ice cubes, like five ice cubes to the outs between the parchment paper and the pot. What this is going to do, it's gonna create more steam inside the Dutch oven and it's gonna give you a nice soft bread with a better crust. It just helps that crust form really nicely. You don't have to do this, but I've always done this, so I highly recommend it. So I'm just gonna snip away all this excess parchment paper. You don't wanna snip it right down in there because you do wanna still be able to grab it when it's done, but You don't want this stuff folding inwards when the lid is on and affecting your bread. Now we've got our ice cubes, we've got our bread in the heated, very hot Dutch oven. Now we've got everything ready to go and we're gonna put this in the oven for 35 minutes at 450 degrees. The reason using a Dutch oven can be so great for sourdough is again, it just helps that crust form, but basically you're creating a little happy environment where the moisture stays in the bread and stays in that pot. So you're making like almost like a little oven within an oven and it just bakes the most beautiful bread. So again, I use a Pioneer Woman Dutch oven um, you can get the cast iron ones, but it doesn't have to be cast iron. The one I have is like $35 Canadian, I think, something around there. It's really not that expensive as far as Dutch ovens go. There are a lot of different ones on the market. I love Pioneer Woman because I love that like floral kind of bursts of color. Um, and so it just aesthetically, it pleases my eyes. <laughs> so there are ways to get affordable Dutch ovens. You don't have to buy a $150 cast iron Dutch oven. Um, if you have one of those, that's awesome, but it's not necessary. And I don't want anybody thinking that it is because that would make making something for your family like sourdough pretty inaccessible. So there are much cheaper Dutch ovens that you can get that will work absolutely fine to bake your bread. Sometimes I like to check the crust after about 20 minutes to see how it's forming and see how it's going. Um, and sometimes I don't, I just leave it in there and I trust the process. So you're welcome to check to see how your bread is going after 20 minutes. Just make sure that it cooks for 35. Look at that. Beautiful. All right, it has been 35 minutes, and as you can see, we have a beautiful loaf of bread, just golden. Um, you could take the lid off for the last five, 10 minutes and make that crust more dark. My kids particularly don't like super crunchy bread, so I like to keep the lid on and just bake it till it's golden, but that's totally gonna depend on your family and how they like to eat bread. So, you just pull this out. Check the bottom, lovely. And you'll know like your bread will be hollow as well. And I'll show you up close of what it looks like from the top here. You can see our slits down the side burst. And sometimes I get a better burst and a better splitting, but this is a good loaf. Mm, it's gonna be good. good. It does. You can hear, it's very hollow. There you go. That's how easy it is to make bread. All right, you guys, that is how you make sourdough bread. I hope you guys enjoyed these tutorial videos on how to make it. Um, if you want to see how to make the dough and a starter, then please go see my last video. I'll link it in the end card here. Um, but I'm gonna continue on filming for the day. So if you were just here for the bread, then 
feel free to dip out. If not, I appreciate if you stay, that's always nice. Um, but we're gonna cut this up and have it for breakfast. You can eat it hot out of the pot. You can save this for dinner or sandwiches or whatever you would like to do. It's not that hard and it's really easy to get into the hang of it and just kind of autopilot through the steps and get beautiful loaves of bread for your family and friends. Again, if you have any questions through this process, please put them below. I will be happy to answer anything that you might be wondering. We're gonna dig into this and then we're gonna go about our Sunday. I remember you saying put tons of butter on the fresh bread, so I'm going to do that. Mm -hmm. And from making bread to out in the woods, we've come to the campground the kids and I usually go to um, just to check it out because we haven't camped yet, obviously, I'm still working, um, but last year it got really crowded, really crazy with all the COVID campers. By COVID campers, I mean people who don't usually camp, who decided to camp because of COVID. And a lot of those people just have no camping etiquette and it was just, it made it made it not fun for us to go out. So we're just kind of scoping out the area to see how it, how full it is and how it looks and if it's the same as last year. And so far it looks pretty good. It's gonna be a weird vlog rainbow. It is. Here's how you make bread. And now we're hiking. Now we're hiking. So we might come out camping this summer still. Welcome to nature. Look out. It's so nice. Our normal camping spot is free, so I think we're gonna do a little bit of camping. Probably shorter than we normally do. But definitely some. Do I take her when I go camping? No, we've learned this lesson multiple times. You'll just come out? Every single year. I know. You say, oh, maybe this one will be different. And then I have to come pick them up in two days. That's true. Like, Dogs stay home with me, dude. And they'll come out. You bring they them. Come to visit. Yeah. Not camp. Right, Carly. There it is. Not. You get a taste of the flesh. Mom, tell me. Mom. There's a school. I found them again. <gasps> Whoa. Is Dad making stuff up again? Yep. No. If you let them eat the skin, they'll want to eat the meat. <laughs> What you doing, Carly? Oh, what you doing? Can I show you something? Oh, this is cool. Come here, no, hey, Carly, back here. You don't have a leash on. Look at this. Whoa, keep that one. Are you all done? Hi. Hi. Are you all done? Hey, are you done? Two sprinkle girls. Did you have fun? Our old girl. This is Carly's 11th summer. Hey, okay. yeah, my old girl. If you're wondering where Finn is, he's at home because he doesn't like any of this stuff. He's very, she lays in the mud. Finn holds his feet up and goes, ew, take me home. <laughs> you're gonna be fun to take back in the car, hey? Hey you guys, coming at you from editing version of Rainbow. Um, I just came downstairs because the AC is running by my desk and it's too loud. It's hot again. I don't have a whole lot more to show you after we went out to the river to hang out for a little bit. We came home and you know we went out for dinner as a family. That was really nice to a restaurant, all of us, because that's the thing we can do now. And we just kind of chilled. It was just a really chill Sunday. But I hope you guys enjoyed the two-day tutorial of how to make sourdough bread. I hope you found it useful. Again, if you guys have any questions for the process, then put them down below and I will be happy to answer them. I'm going to end it here and we'll pick back up tomorrow. Um, the vlogs will start getting a little bit more interesting. I'm sorry they're kind of dull right now. It's just really hard for me to be able to film much when I'm still working. I've only got two weeks left. So, or like this week and next week. Um, 
and then I can, you know, leave the house more and, and do more exciting things. But until then, I appreciate you all for bearing with me and hanging out with me. If you have anything that you would love to see, kind of a tutorial or some sort of how-to on next, let me know. That is always appreciated. Um, but until next time, we will see you guys. I hope you enjoy your week and you're having a lovely week and lovely day, whichever part of the day this is hitting you at. Um, stay cool if it's hot. We are trying. Anyway, you guys, we'll see you next one.